What's good, my peoples? Welcome to another episode of Harry's Helping Hands. And for today's video, I'll be showing you the cheapest way you can ship out your golf clubs. I've been shipping out golf clubs for a long time now, and my technique is guaranteed to work. Your golf clubs will arrive safe and your customers will be 100% satisfied. For this project, make sure you get yourself a large box and also make sure you get it for free. I got this box at Walmart and all I did was just ask a stock clerk for it and they just gave it to me. So let's get started. First, you will need to open up your box and slice it in one corner. Now that you have a long piece of cardboard, we need to make sure it can fold in four ways. So draw a straight line next to your club and with a scissor, run it down that line by pushing it down so it can break down the first layer of your cardboard. Make sure it doesn't go all the way through. Now you will need to cut your box on the line you drew at the end of your club. You will now have a piece of cardboard that's 26 inches in width 46 and a half inches in length. Now that you're able to fold your box in four ways, put your golf club on top and fold your box into a triangular shape. Before you take your box, make sure it fits perfectly. Secure your club by bubble wrapping the head and covering the entire club with a plastic bag. When taping your box, I recommend you tape every corner that has an opening. Also, make sure you secure the grip with tape. To cover the top and bottom of your box, just trace it to another cardboard and cut it out to size. Put that cutout piece on top and tape it as much as you can. Before you finish, I recommend you run your tape around the entire box until you feel everything is tightly secure. Now, all you have to do is create a label. I usually use PirateShip.com to print my labels but they don't have the option to mail out a triangular box, only a rectangular box, and that's when it gets expensive. Believe it or not, but using USPS.com to ship this club is the cheapest way. All you have to do is create an account, and log in, enter your customer's information, and enter your package weight and dimensions. My box is weighing 1 pound and 15.7 ounces, so I rounded up to 1 pound and 16 ounces. My dimensions were 46 inches in length, 8 inches in width, 4 inches in height, and 6 inches in girth. I got lucky with this customer because they only lived 30 minutes away, so my shipping cost was only $8.25. I live in South Florida, so let's say I was mailing this out to California, the cost to ship this out would have been almost $15, but that's still not bad compared to shipping it in a rectangular box. USPS will charge you by distance and weight. The closer your customer lives to you, the better. That means you will be paying less for shipping and you will have more money in your pockets. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, please hit that like button, Subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification button, that way you're alerted when new videos come out. Please share this with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Deuces.